nightmare about LBJ, where LBJ said, we have to give them just enough to quiet them down. You know, they do that not just to black people. They do that to everybody. And they try to make us think that they're on our side. You know, the other part of this, the Planned Parenthood part of this, this is something that is still a non-negotiable plank of the Democrats. That, that is at the core of the party. And to understand where this is coming from, the fact that they have not distanced themselves from this, look at all the statistics that have come out lately about how the vast majority of abortions are black. The vast majority of black pregnancies end in abortion. This is still a policy of racial extermination, just as it was designed to be at the very beginning. Important not to forget that, important not to allow them to bring up the charge of racism every time we have a disagreement with Barack Obama. He was elected by a majority of everyone. And now he says people hate him because he's black. It's like we've just discovered that he's black. Come on, that's, it's baloney. But let's take a look at CPAC. I wanted people to call in and give us their opinion if they've been watching the speeches that are going on at CPAC because we have to try to fight this with something. I think the major fight is really not going to be over who the president is. I don't really think the major fight is with anything in Washington. I think Washington has become so corrupt, as we can see in the Republican leadership, I personally have doubts as to whether or not we're going to see any change come from that quarter. It doesn't mean that we shouldn't be engaged. It doesn't mean that we give up on that. But I think that really where we're going to see change come is from the states. And let me just kind of back off before I get into this uh, the CPAC stuff. There was an article that was in New American today about the Oklahoma House votes to protect property rights from the feds and from the UN. This is where I think our bigger hope is going to come is at the state level and at the individual level where we take responsibility for things, where we understand our role as jurors, our role as citizens, where we stand up for those rights. But that's an educational issue. That's an information war issue. But let's take a look at what the Oklahoma House of Representatives just did. 66 in favor, 26 against, they passed the Oklahoma Community Protection Act that would nullify Agenda 21 and other outside assaults on individual rights in the state, specifically property rights. And this is what one of the key sponsors, Oklahoma Representative Mike Ritz said. He said it's very important for states to reassert their sovereignty and to protect the rights of citizens from intrusive and oppressive measures that are coming down from the federal government even from international organizations like the UN. And we understand too that the UN Agenda 21 is something that is typically enacted at the local level. And so they, it's important that this bill has protections against eminent domain confiscation. They, it would put stiff penalties for violations of citizens' property rights by officials would nullify any anti-constitutional federal or international infringements on private property, it would protect property from being acquired by eminent domain because that's really where UN Agenda 21 is being enacted. It was an agenda that was created by the UN. It was a pattern, a template. But the way that it's being implemented is locally. And so they're going to protect people from arbitrary eminent domain. He points out in the article, and this is interesting, of course, the bill was less than three pages long. If you get a thousand page bill, somebody is trying to hoodwink you. The Bill of Rights could be printed on a single page. So this is three pages long, makes it clear what's gonna happen. And listen, it's got some teeth in it. Damages shall be awarded in favor of the property owner at an amount not less than 10 times the property value as assessed in the previous year by the county assessor. So if they come in and take your property, you're going to get 10 times what it was last assessed at. We need to see things like that happening at the state level, we need to see people getting involved, but it's also important to pay attention at the national level because we need to go on the offensive and try to take back Washington, which has been totally co-opted by corrupt international globalists. So it's interesting to watch what these people are saying. Now, Marco Rubio spoke at CPAC and he said essentially that we need to be the world's policeman. He's taking up the neocon banner. And also this is a guy who has taken up the banner for open immigration and amnesty. Why is it that Rubio is taking such unpopular opinions? Listen to what he says. He says, no, we need to, um, we need to have uh, America get involved, be active and engaged, but that doesn't mean that we're going to be involved in 15 wars. Oh, maybe like only four or five, but come on. The fact that he and John Bolton would say that we are becoming isolationist and disengaged, you see Marco Rubio siding with McCain, siding with Lindsey Graham 
on these issues, on the issues of immigration. You see him siding with them on the issues of perpetual war, of the neocons. People need to wake up and understand what's going on. Now, of course, Marco Rubio didn't say anything about immigration at CPAC, but Phyllis Schlafly talked about it. And she had a lot to say about how foolish it was to back amnesty when most of the people coming in under amnesty are antithetical, opposed to individual liberty. They're opposed to independence. They're opposed to all the things that people who are looking for limited government, they're voting in overwhelming numbers for the people who are giving them an ever increasing, ever metastasizing state. So we need to make sure that we have some kind of control over immigration just to let this country survive. And of course, John Bolton comes in and talks about a rise of isolationism. As we're on the doorstep of Russia, trying to restart the Cold War, what is John Bolton thinking he's going to do? <laughs> I mean, this is absolute insanity. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to be right back and take some of your phone calls, see what you think about CPAC. Virtually anyone can hack your cell phone and track your calls, your texts, your emails, your every movement, but only if they can detect a signal. Stay one step ahead of hackers and Big Brother with a block at Pocket, a custom-made pocket infused with pure silver that creates a complete Faraday enclosure for your cell phone. For free shipping to the lower 48, visit BlockItPocket.com or call 888-315-9618, BlockItPocket.com, enhancing health and privacy. Attention gun owners, it's reasonable to assume that at some point you may need to defend your family from an armed attack. But is it reasonable to mount a defense without a strong offense? Infidel Body Armor goes on in seconds, is civilian legal in all 50 states, is 100% made in the USA, is veteran owned, and ships next business day for free. Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com. I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. With new and ever-increasing health threats on the rise, there has never been a more crucial time to support your immune system. Supernatural Silver is a revolutionary new silver solution that is clinically shown to be several hundred times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver and is powerful enough to help protect you and your family from deadly viruses, bacterias, and fungus. Supernatural Silver is scientifically supported, highly effective, and perfect for everyday use inside the body as well as out. The science Digest Journal says silver is our mightiest germ fighter. It is virtually non-toxic and is emerging as a wonder of modern science. Supernatural Silver is the number one choice of thousands for improved health and immune system support. Find out how Supernatural Silver can change your life. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER2014 for 20% off. Give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. Introducing Pro One, all of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate. We have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. From his Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight filling in for Alex. And we're going to have a special report, a special documentary-style report interview between Alex Jones and the founder of The Daily Caller, 
uh, Tucker Carlson. It's a very explosive interview. You're not going to want to miss this. I'm anxious to see it. I've seen the description. They talk about the rise of freedom and libertarian movement, the Tea Party, as well as the attacks on the Second Amendment, what that means. And Alex has a very interesting discussion with Tucker, Tucker Carlson about the origins of the police state that was enacted after 9-11. A lot of facts about 9-11, so you're going to want to see that back and forth between the two of them. I know I want to see it, and that's coming up in the next hour. But I wanted to take your calls right now on CPAC, and as we were going to break, I was talking about John Bolton and how he was pushing for, he thinks that we've got an isolationist foreign policy. Does it seem like that to you as we see the Cold War being restarted, as we see America interjecting itself into war after war after war? He thinks that that's isolationism. Can you imagine what he would like to do? This is what he said. He said, Adam Smith wrote that the first duty of the sovereign is to protect society from the violence of other nations. Great. How do we do that? Do we make ourselves safer by interjecting ourselves into each and every war? You know, let's go back to what John Quincy Adams said. He understood the nature of power. He had watched, as well as the other founders of this country, had watched Europe in a state of perpetual war and intrigue. And he said, the famous quote, we don't go abroad in search of monsters to destroy. We wish well to the freedom and independence of all. But he also said this. You don't hear this as often. And think about the Ukrainian situation. Think about Syria. Think about Egypt, Libya. Think about Afghanistan, Iraq, all these different places. This is what he said. He said, America well knows that once we enlist under other banners than our own, even if it's the banners of foreign independence, that we would involve ourselves beyond the power of extrication in all of the wars of interest and intrigue, of individual avarice, envy, and ambition, which assume the colors and usurp the standard of freedom. Sounds like he's talking about the color revolutions, doesn't it? Sounds like he's talking about our foreign policy. The fundamental maxim, he goes on to say, the fundamental, ma fundamental maxim of American policy should insensibly change from liberty to force if we were to do that. We would become the dictator of the world. Is that how people see us? Are we the shining city on the hill showing people the way to liberty? Or are we the poster children for a complete surveillance state, for a complete police state, for an interventionist empire that wants to get involved in every aspect, every corner of the globe? What do you think? That's the way I see the foreign policy. I'm interested to see this back and forth that is going on at CPAC. I want to see this discussion that's going on between the people who want us to be even more interventionist than Bush and Obama, who say that we are isolationists. The people like Marco Rubio, John McCain, Lindsey Graham, John Bolton. And on the other side, we've got Rand Paul, who will be talking today. So let's take some of your calls. Uh, Mike in Florida, what do you think about what you've seen at CPAC? Hello? Hello, Mike in Florida, are you there? Yes, hi, how are you doing, sir? Doing good. Tell us what you think about CPAC. Okay, well, I just wanted to tell you that um, basically I live in Miami, Florida. Uh, they've already implanted me with a chip, and uh, I just think that your show should broadcast more. Okay, let's, uh, let's, I'm going to take calls on CPAC. Julio in Illinois. Julio, you want to talk about CPAC? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I was just <laughs> was just chuckling uh, with that phone call. Yeah, I know. Um, I, <laughs> I covered CPAC in 2012, and uh, I, I had a media credential to cover it this year. I just didn't have the funds to go out there. I, I know there's uh, liberty-minded independent journalists that, that are there covering it. And uh, CPAC, at least from my perspective, is nothing more than a click. It's uh, it's a part. It, at least uh, it's the the results of the straw polls the last couple of years. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned. Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. 
And that's why I stock my pantry with high quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to mypatriotsupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866 229 0927. That's 866 229 0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. Mypatriotsupply.com slash Alex.